Does your home align with your dreams? Does your home match what you want? Do you see and feel that your home is completely helping you every step of the way to make your dreams come true? Today's video is gonna be full of simple ways to line up your home with your dreams. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dana Claudette. I'm a modern feng shui master and founder of the School of Intention, which is an entire method and school of feng shui, which is totally unique, unlike anything else in the world, based on infinite possibility, creative awakening, and your intention. Your intention, your wishes, your dreams, your desires, but really intention is the energy that you move through the day with. It's the energy that carries you through things. It's the focus that you have. It's the overall vibration that you feel and the energy you're channeling toward what you want and how you're creating your life every day. This is a really powerful force and your entire environment can be filled with more of that energy that matches what you want and it doesn't have to be complicated. It can be very simple. If you wanna become a feng shui professional trained in this method of life-changing design, people are doing this for their personal development, they're doing it for an addition to their business, many coaches, designers, even people who are doing all sorts of healing work, astrology, people are coming from all over the world to learn to use space to transform life. It is kind of like the missing link for many people to use your space to transform life. And often it's the thing that can help you to create breakthroughs. Below you can find all the details for the School of Intention, which is open now for registration. And if you're excited to make breakthroughs this year in your home and in the year ahead, Below you can find a link to the Breakthrough Making video series. It's a free hour long video series all about setting up your home to make breakthroughs. So I hope you love it all. Now, first let's talk about your home aligning with your dreams. Do you feel like your home is a reflection of how you want to feel? It's a very simple concept, but it's a very profound one because we aren't really raised to think of our home as having a feeling necessarily. So just take a look around your house right now, whether you're in a studio or a house with many rooms, take a walk around, take a look around and see, does this line up with things that I want? Do I see things that reflect my style and everything that I love? And if you don't quite see that yet, we're gonna take it to the next level today. I'm always working to enhance space because again, even if you have a space that you once loved, you might've outgrown it. It might be time to take it up a notch because every time you have new goals, every time you have new dreams, every time you wanna bring more abundance into your life, you can shift the energy of your home, expand the energy of your home and bring that stuff in with so much more ease. So one of the first ways you can do this is with color and one of the fastest, easiest, and least expensive ways, especially if you have a good source to get house paint that is high quality and low cost, you can paint your walls. Now, some of you might not be able to paint. If you can't paint, that's okay. You can put art up on the walls. We'll get to that in just a bit. And there are so many other ways to bring color into space. But if you can paint, painting is one of the things that can instantly transform a room. Now you might say, well, what are the right feng shui colors? The right feng shui colors start with your favorite colors, your favorite colors in your space. In fact, when you make bold moves with color to match what you are craving, that is possibly the best thing that you can do, especially if it really feels good in the space. So how will you know? Get paint samples. If you can get little cans of paint to try out and you feel comfortable just painting on the wall, what I actually like to do if I can't get what I'm about to show you is get a little can of paint or two of colors that I'm considering for the walls and then I will paint a little piece of poster board, just a dollar store poster board, and put it up by the wall. So I'll paint a white piece of poster board, put it up on the wall, and look at what it looks like different times of day in different light. That can give me a good sense of what this color is gonna be like. Now, paint has evolved a lot, and you can get these peel and stick paint chips. These are from Claire Paint, 
And there's a really good reason to do this. I used to think this was like, oh, you don't need to do this, especially if you're shopping for paint chips at a store or you're shopping online for paint. You really wanna take something home in your house so you can see what it looks like next to other things in your house and in the lighting that you have in your house. Light is what creates color. So I got these and I thought that I was going to paint my whole house a color that looked so great online. This is what it turned out to look like when I got the sample. I would have been so upset if I bought seven cans of this unreturnable paint. I wouldn't know what to do with it because it was way darker than I thought. The color I'm actually using is this. So, and this is perfect when I put it up on the wall. So this versus where I began with this huge difference. This brings me all the vibes that I'm looking for and it feels really good. This I love to look at maybe in a painting, but not as my wall color. Get samples, try your paints. This is a tip that can help you immensely. You don't know how many times I recommend colors to my clients, but I tell them to please test them first. And in their house, a color that looks creamy and beige and fabulous looks gray and dark and weird. And so please test your paint colors before you paint all your walls or commit to buy a ton of paint. Next thing that can really transform your experience of a space is changing the textures around you. I've talked a little bit about this before. One of the reasons I like this sofa so much, it made me feel very grounded because it feels very organic. It feels like the cotton that it's woven from, and I really like that feeling. I also love velvet. Uh, I don't love the way certain hard fabrics feel. They feel crunchy and they feel not very inviting to me. What feels good to you? I used to love sleek couches, but then as I needed a different feeling in my life, I really gravitated toward this more organic feeling. Now, you might not be able to get a new sofa, you might not be able to get new chairs, but you can cover them. In a tapestry, you can get a throw blanket that's more of a texture that you want to feel, something more velvety, something softer. These are all easy ways to make a very, very decisive shift. You can also change the pillows on your sofa. Sometimes that's all it takes to create a whole new vibe in a space is to change the colors or change the patterns or the textures of the pillows around you. Now, if pillows are really hard to find by you, ones that you like, you can get fabric, find a very easy tutorial and make your own cushion covers. It's really not that hard. I could make them when I was a little kid. I haven't tried to make them in a long time, but if I could make them as a little kid, I am certain that you all can make them. They are not that hard. So I'm gonna attempt to make some new ones myself in the near future, so maybe we'll do a video on that. Anything that can shift the texture, the pattern, the real visceral feeling of your space is going to change the experience you have. Now, why does this matter? Again, everything has energy and the energy of everything around you is influencing you. Now, the number one easiest way without doing anything, without buying anything, doing anything to change your space dramatically so that it aligns more with what you want and all the high vibrations that you want is to do some really deep house cleaning. I've talked about this a lot, but for those of you who are new, house cleaning is life-changing. Approach it with a life-changing attitude and house cleaning is life-changing, bottom line, all the time. Do this and you will notice the difference. It's amazing what happens when you really commit to a deep clean of your entire home and everything in it. It can be a lot of work, but man, is it rewarding and you won't have to do really heavy cleaning and you won't feel sort of uh, underwhelmed when you do some cleaning and you don't feel it as fresh as you want when you really get in and do one big deep cleaning it could be early spring cleaning for you or no matter when you're watching this it's always a fresh start now the next thing that can really amplify the energy of the space and bring more energy of growth into your space seeing things growing growing more plants Growing plants is one of the best ways to see and 
feel the life force energy of nature in your space, which really mirrors the life force energy that we have when we create things. So I'm going to link uh, one of a very popular video on feng shui and plants and all sorts of plants for abundance and feng shui, but really any plants that grow very well for you, any plants that are perfect for your climate, perfect for your environment, perfect for the amount of light you have, those are gonna be the best plants. If you feel like you can't grow anything, like nothing grows for you, try some bamboo. Bamboo does not need light. Uh, bamboo that comes in, that you put in a vase, it does not need light. You can order it many places and have it mailed to you online. It's phenomenal and has tons of great abundance symbolism. So bamboo can be a really fun one for everyone. Even if you feel like you can't grow things, you can grow bamboo. Now, another way that you can really transform your home without transforming so many things is to put some art on the walls frame some photos, put some art up on the walls, get them, get art at thrift stores, things that you're attracted to. It doesn't have to be super fancy. You don't have to have a million, $10 million art collection to have really impressive art in your space. What's most important again, is that you feel joy when you see these things. Let that be your starting place. And the final one we're gonna talk about today, which is life-changing, is light. Light makes all the difference in the world. If I were sitting here in total darkness, it would be hard to see me. It's hard to see a lot of things in your space that are in dark corners, that are in darkness. Your office might be too dark. It might be too bright certain places, and you're just blinded by the light, and you can't really watch the TV at a certain hour or you can't really um, sleep well because it's way too bright in your bedroom, adjust the lighting. It will make such a huge difference in your space. Really pay attention to this and adjust the lighting in your rooms and you will notice the difference even in the colors that you see. It's that powerful and it could just completely transform your mood, transform your experience every day and transform your mindset because everything becomes a little bit brighter. Now, there are so many things again to learn and to do. If you wanna dive into a deeper immersion in creating a space that helps you energetically, helps you to make big shifts in your life, the free Breakthrough Camp video series is below the manifesting videos that I think you will love. And if you wanna become a Feng Shui Pro this year, again, the School of Intention is open now for registration and you can find all the details below. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. And there are tons of videos for you to explore. I want everyone to be able to dive in and be able to shift more of their energy, their mindset, uh, the vibrations that you feel, your manifesting power, your confidence, and really just shine this year and all the time. So have fun exploring and I will be back with so much more soon. Bye.